Welcome back to the viewers. Definitely Euro Park, you know, is really an amusement park and it's, it has all sorts of, you know, amusement and themes, whatever you just name it. And it's a huge, uh, you know, big, uh, beautiful spot in Europe. Anyway, let's uh, go and move on with our next uh, guest. And he's definitely this, the, the uh, Kuwaiti uh, pyrography artist Expo 965 team for heritage and crafts exhibition and talented Kuwaitis. Let's all welcome and say good morning to Badr Hassan Felchawi. Uh, Badr, good morning to, uh, and good to see you again in this uh, beautiful uh, city. Good morning and uh, good to see you again and thank you for having me today. Well, it is a good morning and a wonderful uh, beginning of the week to have uh, you with us. And yes, we always say that the people of Felicia has a lot of talents. <laughs> you know, the, the history runs in our veins. What can we say? Yes. So, uh, uh, Mr. Bader, I know that uh, the pyrography as a name, it's difficult for some people. They don't know what is pyrography. But like uh, Mr. Uh, our colleague Farid in the beginning said, the uh, let's say the lens they the used lens, to do it know, with lenses and like that. This so is one, one of the methods of uh, pyrography. Uh, the word pyrography came from the Latin word pyrographia, yeah. which is writing with fire. Okay. okay. So uh, it's a very ancient uh, art. Uh, uh, the late, uh, the uh, oldest uh, piece was discovered uh, uh, 780. Whoa. And uh, of course, they use very primitive uh, methods like uh, heating needles on fire and doing like uh, symbols on their pots yeah. and cups, yeah. wooden pots and cups. Well, that's, yeah. that's really interesting. You yeah. see, it is. It is. It's I told you, it's a history. It's yep. history, definitely. You know, all, all people from, uh, you know, Felice Island, you know, they have <laughs> the craftsmen of Felice. <laughs> they have that. I know you're happy. You know? Very happy. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, you know, Amel from Felice too. So <laughs> anyway, Bedel, tell us, you know, uh, about your participation in uh, the professional entrepreneur program. What uh, prompted, prom prompted you to participate in this program and why participation is important to you um, if you could remember from our last meeting uh, yeah. or interview uh, there was a plan to take my hobby and do it as a, a full project to have like extra so source of income and to make it grow also okay and I came across of uh, eco which is a co work in space and they provide uh, different services mm -hmm. One of the things they provided is um, workshops. It uh, started last week mm -hmm. and it will last until December. Mm -hmm. And it's all free workshops covering different aspects of how to start your business and um, uh, photography, um, uh, the sustainability studies, uh, the um, feasibility studies. So, so this there, is there are different different aspects they are covering and they helping uh, people who have ideas or small businesses to grow and uh, to become like aware of all the aspects how to start a proper business. Well this is really great because if it, it is said if you love what you're doing then you are not working at all. Exactly. So you exactly. are taking that hobby, that talent and making it work for you and getting a proper profit, let's say a profession of it. Exactly. Uh, and um, I didn't mention that ECHO is uh, supporting businesses who uh, help the environment. Nice. Uh, and this program we're going through, there's a lot of people, different ages, different uh, backgrounds. And at the end, if the business or the idea is doable mm -hmm. and it's complete, they will fund it and okay. will help those people to start their own business. Mm -hmm. And um, from the last, uh, last week, uh, workshops uh, I came in with uh, you know the normal idea of the environment how to help the environment yes. wow, beautiful. not to use plastic mm. not to throw trash but when I after the first lecture uh, this idea has become even bigger uh, okay. I understood this to to have a better environment you have to invest in the human resource that we have okay. mm -hmm. uh, any environmental project must be sustainable uh, exactly. so I try to fuse my, uh, fuse my hobby and make it also environmental friendly project nice. and also help uh, people to 
learn a new craft and to start their own businesses too. Nice. So, this is so wonderful. from hobby to a professional, you know, job yeah. and also environmental friendly. Sustainable, that's really yeah. sustainable. That's amazing. Better, definitely. So, what are your preparations for participating as an or a professional entrepreneur program? And what is the nature of your participation in this program? Um, as you know, I'm a pyrography artist, so mostly I do uh, <coughs> work on wood. I start also carving on wood. So uh, the idea that I had is, um, when, I, when I first applied, the idea I had is to uh, recycle the wood that we find uh, around. Nice to make uh, uh, useful pieces, like artwork pieces that you can put in our homes. Okay. And also to do workshops. That was the initial mm -hmm. idea. But after the, the lectures I had, it, it became like bigger. Uh, I wanted to help other people to also start their own businesses. Uh, a lot of people just like me, uh, especially the artists, they, they don't focus more on, uh, they don't focus on the uh, management and financial aspect, they focus on their crafts. Indeed. So if you get somebody to help you with the finance, mm -hmm. with uh, feasibility studies and how to calculate this and how to create packages to sell, it's, it's a great help and I found that in, in ECO and we, we I think next week is going to be the uh, visibility study lectures. Okay. So I'm very uh, looking forward to, <laughs> toward that one. Nice. But this is really exciting. Uh, burning on wood, uh, we know that it's not an easy thing to do. I, I know... Uh, I, I have to uh, disag disagree really? with you. Really? Uh, is it easy? The beauty of wood burning or pyrography it can suit all levels even if you don't know how to draw at all there's different techniques that will suit all levels but uh, as mothers if I, if my son really came to me and i said i would like to uh, learn how to burn wood i would say no exactly because you're going to burn yourself you're going to burn the furniture you're going to do that and that's that, and, that. <laughs> that. and this is what we do exactly that's that's the idea so I, how how do you take it from this to uh, make it a lot uh, of people uh, like become intimidated because it's uh, a wood burning tools it mm -hmm. reach up to 400 celsius uh, <laughs> but for the younger uh, kids there is different methods okay. techniques like mm -hmm. there's uh, a marker with has, which has chemicals, very safe chemicals, okay. and they can draw on the wood without heat, without anything, and maybe the uh, mother or the father can use a heat gun and put it on that wood, and only the place they draw, it will burn faster. Okay. So that's uh, a way of introducing the young ones to, to the to, art. To the art. Um, from June until August, me and Mrs. Arub Limtawa, we have we've done a summer camp. Uh, we mm -hmm. took the kids from the city to a farm and we taught them how to uh, do farming and see the animals. Some, uh, we have uh, as young as six years old oh. and I was surprised that most of the young ones, they never seen a camel in their life. So when they took them to the camels, it's like a first lifetime experience. Well, and one of the camel. things that we teach them is art and wood burning yes. and I was very scared you know to, with the little ones but I was surprised how good they are by following the instruction and they had produced beautiful pieces and they the, the muscles their muscles are really well equipped to handle the those that's that's a problem we're facing not just with the pyrography but even in school we see like uh, six seven yes. eight years mm -hmm. old kids they cannot write properly because at the young age, they didn't play with clay, they didn't use scissors, they didn't play with the hand, they're always sitting Indeed. on their tablets or video games. Indeed. So the muscles of the hand is, is very weak, that's why they cannot hold the pen or the pencil properly. Yes. So in our summer camp, we focused more on uh, handcrafts and so. how play even with, with dirt. When they were farming, they were enjoying how to play with dirt. And when we show them the earthworms also oh. uh, and with the plants they put it in, it was a good experience and I uh, hopefully that we can do it even more often. Not just us, all parents must, must make sure that their kids use their hands at a young age. Yes, it is. It is important. And yes, you know, Farid, it is really important that the children have the muscles to grab oh, yeah. and hold oh, yeah. and do Abs all of this. Absolutely. Stuff. Yeah, I, I totally agree with Mr. Bader about, you know, you know, let the kids to be exposed, 
you know, to uh, varieties, you know. For example, when you say people for the first time they see yeah. a camel, yep. yeah, that's, that's, you know, unfortunate. You see, they're supposed to see these things, you yeah. know. Parents should take them to, you know, when they travel abroad or to the zoo yeah. or whatever, you know. Uh, they Look have deserts at least exactly you know so they <laughs> yeah. have to mingle with things you know so they get you know the experience uh, w let's go back to mr Bader, and and definitely uh Bader, you became really distinguished in uh, you know in in, you. in burning on wood and you know these specializing you know hobbies so tell us how you became this professional um it's a self-taught it's self-taught. Okay, self-taught. Uh, I didn't Amazing. attend any um, uh, classes or anything. And when I first started, it was in 1991. Mm -hmm. There were no internet. Mm -hmm. There were uh, yeah, that's no, true. no, no, no other sources to learn. Exactly. And also in Kuwait, there were not a lot, hardly anybody to use that type of art. Yeah. And also getting the books was very difficult. So I had to learn by trial and error. Yeah. That's my uh, beginning with pyrography. But before that. Uh, I used to draw with uh, pencils and charcoals. I didn't like c mixing colors, like okay. watercolors and nice. oil so colors. Black I, and I, white. I tried, but I don't like the you know, the preparation and then the cleanup afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I like the pencil; it's very fast. You grab a piece of paper and you start drawing. So the uh, uh, wood burning, it's kind of similar to the pencils and the charcoal, the same techniques, and it's. Uh, it, you don't need to do a lot of cleanups or preparation for it. So, you, you, do you draw uh, Avengers? <laughs> uh, not really. I'm, I'm a big fan of Batman, though. Right? Uh, okay, so DC, I think. Batman. <laughs> DC. Mr. DC. America, yeah. Mr. Kuwait. We have this to. is a DC guy. <laughs> well, I know all about DC and Marvel and all of that because yeah. I have children, I have boys yeah. most of the time. But speaking about uh, what you just said, self-taught, it's not yep. easy. And it's not, let's say, something of a re irregularity we have it yeah. around us. So you taught yourself how to, uh, the, the pyrography. Yes. But how did you learn which wood to choose? Which is the best wood to uh, burn on or have a good results upon? Uh, trial and error. As uh, well. Yes, I've tried so many uh, type of woods. Uh, lately, I tried the uh, Moringa wood. Okay. Uh, which it didn't work well because oh. uh, inside the moringa trunk it's all fibers so the more you sand it the more it dissolves okay. so it's not uh, uh, strong enough to uh, to use those. it okay. but I've been trying different type of wood my favorite is cedar oh. which is a Kuwaiti wood mm -hmm. and it's beautiful wood um, my favorite all time is the uh, Canadian maple wood. Maple wood. Yeah, that's that's the best wood I ever worked either in uh, wood burning or carving. Oh, nice. So Canadian marble wood. I think this is your first, your best pick as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, honestly, I, I noticed there is like, I don't know, this kind of, you know, uh, I don't know, as Kuwaitis, you know, they, you know, the habba in Kuwaitis. You know, <laughs> you know, a trend. You, you know, yeah. A trend, and, and, or there is like general trend. Uh, some, a lot, I've seen this, a lot of Kuwaiti, let's say their age is around 30, you know, mm -hmm. you know, having these pencils and, you know, uh, piece of papers and drawing Avengers and Avengers, they are becoming really yep. smart and, 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 and that. I don't know what's, is that the movie effect or it's their hobby? <laughs> uh, something must trigger that thing on them. Yeah. Uh, I know also a lot of artists who like to draw outdoors, uh, which is uh, a form of art needs to be, uh, uh, to be quick in yes. sketching a scene. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the lead uh, artists that I, I have met, uh, her name is uh, Mahal Atebi. Yes. Uh, she's a watercolor artist. And the way she draw with watercolors, catching an outdoor scene is amazing. Wow. And uh, I'm going for her workshop uh, next Saturday, hopefully. <laughs> well, this is this is something we have to uh, well attend. I think our team yeah. would love to go and see uh, the workshop of uh, Miss uh, the artist Mahal Atebi uh, joining uh, our Badr uh, Al Chawi as well. So how about a combination of watercolor? and uh, the pyrography. pyrography i think that would be really a marvel it is i'm, I'm trying to use uh, uh, adding <coughs> some colors into my wood pieces 
which it's been done with uh, different media. So uh, I'm trying to learn different techniques to uh, fuse them with the pyrography. Well, this Bezel, is really uh, great. Thank you. We reached the end, you yeah. know, of our interview. Uh, thank you very much, Pedro Felchawi, our artist. Definitely, we wanna, uh, you know, we are looking forward to see you more with, you know, yeah. another type of, uh, you know, artist and, you know, uh, calligraphy. So, uh, all the best for you. Thank yes. you so much. All the best to you, uh, our artist Bedir Al Felichawi, and we hope to see his business running soon enough and making workshops for our children. Well, dear viewers, this is a wrap of our uh, episode of today. Good morning, Kuwait. We are live with you from 10 till 11 in Al Awadi Center every day from Sunday till Tuesday. For now, how about we say goodbye for now? Definitely, until the next episode, we wish you to be safe and have a good time.